All right, what's up, y'all? So, we're to the point in this story where the two Mexicans, what had actually happened is they chased somebody. I'm glad that I paused you guys in between stories because every time I do, I remember other details that if I told it all at once, I would just leave certain shit out on accident. I guess maybe just for the purpose of trying to get through the story. So when I do stories and parts, it allows me to be extremely thorough. Okay? So the Mexicans, like I said, was whooping everybody with tennis rackets. But then it came down to where somebody ran. And when that person ran... Both the Mexicans were just on him, right? His name was Mushy. And I'll give you a quick break that breakdown of Mushy. Mushy was basically just a blockbuster from like Chicago or something. Mind you, this is East St. Paul. And he's just... Mushy really ain't shit, right? Just a sucker who probably couldn't make it in his own city, right? So... I'm like, okay... I see him getting chased, and at that point, it just looked real racial to me. It looked, it just reminded me of like some old like Ku Klux Klan shit. Like when I seen that, I'm like, ah, oh, nah. But see, wasn't nobody getting on the Mexicans though, just because they had a couple of weapons, right? A tennis racket ain't is not the end of the world, right? For you, so. I see them chase Mushy down, and Mushy's punk ass runs over by Jay's mom. I forgot. They didn't just run over to Jay's mom out of everybody. There's like 40 people in the street. Now, my, right at the bottom of the horseshoe, you know what I'm saying? Over there off of Magnolia, right? Bunch of apartment complexes. But like everybody's out in the street at this point. And it's like the one family of Mexicans... And they're like a family and a gang. And then it's like everybody else in the neighborhood. Right? But the Mexicans are holding it down. And it's just really two of them. But they're all in the mix. Really? And I'm not even noticing it yet. Right? So when I see him cock the tennis racket back. Because I didn't even want to get involved. with. I didn't know what was going on. And like I said, what happened is. Is. Little Joe stepped on the Mexican shoe. Mexican turned around, punched her in the face. Guess he kind of he can do that. I guess if you want. Then Joe G. I remember his name now. Then Joe G. That's another benefit of pausing during stories. Other things come back to you that you don't remember. So Joe G. Came and whooped the shit out the Mexican. He put that karate shit on him, man. That jiu-jitsu shit on him, fucked him up, right? So he came, put in work on the Mexican, right? And then he left. As he was leaving, I caught like the end of him leaving. Because I don't, I had to think, I think I had to ask what he did to the Mexican. Because I don't, I, I, if I'm not, I'm pretty sure I'm, I didn't see that, right? So I come out to the end of, of them ch basically chasing Joe G off. But he really don't have nothing to stay around for it. And I don't even know what's going on, right? So I see all this, and this is how it all started. So, but I missed I missed him whooping the Mexican. I forgot what his name was. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to make up a name and call him Juan. I know that's what y'all want me to do, but I'm not going to do that. I forgot his name, right? So he fucks around, gets whooped, but his, his guys get in it, right? And I, this is when I kind of realized that eh, these guys are all kind of like, that's when I realized that started to dawn on me what they really was. You know what I'm saying? So, but they wasn't trying to push no agenda. They wasn't trying to like have no turf. They wasn't tripping on no shit like that. They were just trying to, trying to work and be left alone, to be honest with you, right? They wasn't in the shit around there like that. So, one of them I was hella cool with. I forgot his name too. But his brother, I ain't really like him, right? So, the one I was cool with, I think he had like two or three brothers, probably more than that, but there was, 
The two dudes with the tennis rackets were his brothers, right? So he cocks the tennis racket back on Jay's mom. I'm, I'm standing on the... As soon as I see I'm like, oh, hell no. As soon as I say something, everything stops. They stop like they just like done playing tennis and start walking away with the tennis rackets. And I'm like, nah, homie, I'm going to need them tennis rackets. And now they're just acting like they don't understand no English at all. They're just like, oh, kind of, and dudes like tossing the tennis racket from like one hand to the other. Literally like they were just flossing. Like they didn't hit nobody with nothing and didn't even put it in homie's mom's face. Like, like, but it mushy ran over, I think probably to her or even behind her, if I'm not mistaken, right? Coward, right? So, I, and that shit looked real bad to me, just mushy getting chased. Like that, and I'm like, I ain't really like him, but it still looked erasure. So I'm like, fuck this shit, right? When he cocked it back on dude's mom. And so now I'm like right up on him, like, hey, give me that tennis racket. You got to lose the weapons, dog. Nope. You done cocked it back on, 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 nope, on homie's mom and shit. Like, she's like 50, 60, like you're tripping, dog. Now you done went too far. Now I have a right to take your weapon. You know what I'm saying? So you got to give it up. So I'm right behind him. He's throwing it from like one hand to the other and he drops it right between his legs. I reach from behind him between his legs and grab it. At the same time, he's like grabbing it. I grab him and I spin him like a top onto the ground, right? I spin him. He spins around and he falls down. He loses his balance and falls down because I like really rock him and just like spin him, right? And that's the thing people don't really understand about me like, I know how to fight in a lot of different ways. I know how to use your own weight. I know how to do all type of shit where I wasn't necessarily specifically trained in this. I've just been in a lot of fights and some people just, I had to adapt to them knowing how to fight. So in certain ways. So I spin dude to the ground like a top and I'm holding the tennis racket like this, right? Like racket and handle. I can't even grab it with this hand. The other Mexicans on me. Like, he, he, so he's running up on me with the tennis racket. I just slung his boy to the ground like a sack of potatoes, twisted his ass. He came running up and hit me with the tennis racket like here, here, and in the side of the face, right? Tennis rackets, just leave a welt. You can't even barely feel them when they hit you, right? No stars or nothing like that, right? So he hit me with the tennis racket up my arm and I spun out of the move. Now, mind you, Mushy was right there. When I came to back him up, he got in the fight, or he acted like he was going to get in the fight. Soon as I spun and he thought I was going to run, Mushy ran again. This nigga ran again, right? So the Mexicans, they think I'm going to run, right? I spin all the move. As I spin around, they're running at me full force. I drill one of them. I drill the other one, and they both go down. They're like, damn, like, I dropped them both. And it was, it was, they walked into it. I knew that they thought I was going to run because Mushy ran, and it looked like I was maybe going to run. I knew they were going to be coming at me full force, and I wasn't going nowhere. So I just turned around, spun, planted, and they just walked right into that shit and got dropped, right? So they get dropped, it's the end of it. Now, they had they never all grouped together during this scenario, but somehow Jay got cut across his stomach with with a knife. He got scraped though. I'll say scraped. That wasn't shit compared to what and the, the dad did that shit to him. Old school did that shit to him. He tried to get in the fight or get in something. Mind you, it's Jay's mom that got the racket cocked back on her. Jay tried that. That's probably when Jay tried to do some shit. Because I must have been like, what the fuck were y'all doing? The fuck? Like, then Mushy ran. Like, I whipped both of them guys, man. Like, fuck. What the fuck? So I'm like, yeah, whatever, right? I go back in the house. I look at my face in the mirror. And I got like a welt that's like. I'm like, oh, you motherfucker, man. I grabbed a Jason knife, right? My sister was probably trying to stop me, but she just knew, like, oh, man, like, you done got into it, and, oh, like, it's, she knew, like, it was too late for all that, you know what I'm saying, like, 
man, normally I would have said I wish I didn't even go out there, honestly, because they could have beat the fuck out of Mushy. You just you could have killed Mushy, you know what I'm saying? In hindsight, kill that nigga, man. Fuck him. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're a bitch, I'll let anybody fuck you up. I don't care. I learned my lessons. I learned my lessons. I almost caught bodies for motherfuckers and all type of shit. Like, I learned my lessons. Nope, if you're a bitch, I'm letting you get fucked up like a bitch, and I don't care who does it, man. I don't give a fuck who does it, man. Okay? So, Mushy, I'm going to wrap this up, and then just this is going to be the end of it. So, Mushy, he ran off, right? Repped for him, stood up for him. He runs like a hoe, leaves me for dead. I knocked both the dudes out. Now he looks dumb as fuck. You know what I'm saying? So, and honestly, it was weird. Like, I think they were really confused with me because they knew I wasn't Mexican, but I think they thought I was like Puerto Rican or something. They knew that I was different than them, but they never bothered me. They were like, I wouldn't say scared of me, but they didn't understand me, so they were extremely cautious of me. Like I said, even the one that he, that punched Lil Joe, I had to get a translator to talk to him until he got coked up. This motherfucker got coked up once. Like I told you, I started speaking like perfect English and understood everything. And I'm like, what the heck? You know? So, I don't know. It was just weird, man. It was just weird that uh, all that happened. So I came back out with the butcher knife. And uh, I just I just got on all of them. And they grouped up. They were ready to kill me. But they knew I was going to take at least a couple of them with me. So I just told them, like, man, what the fuck? Look at my face. And just got to tripping out. And then it was just like the end of it. We just all kind of forgave each other. It was the end of it. But I could tell that the one dude, he still wanted to kill me. He still wanted to kill me real bad. But we still just coincided in the neighborhood. And uh, that was it. 